Hi, Carrie and Keon. How are you two doing today? Good. How are you? Hi, Madeline. I'm good. Um, Congratulations on an incredible final season. You both were fantastic as always. Thank you. Kara, I want to start with you. You know, from season two to season six, Drummer has developed from a mere side character to the center of her own beautifully written arc. What has this journey been like for you, seeing Drummer evolve based on different book characters into this incredibly complex main character? Oh my gosh. Uh, it has been a journey, that's for sure. Um, I love reading the books. I would highly recommend uh, any fan of the show read the books. They're really a super interesting window into um, just like another point of view on the same story. I definitely gobbled up characters from the books. I kept joking that by the end it would be a one woman show. <laughs> <laughs> joking, kept, joking, kept, kept joking. joking. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, they kept me on my toes. That's for sure. Every season it was like, okay, and now you're going to take on this person's arc and this person's arc and to try to synthesize all of that and make it one true soul uh, was, I mean, it's a huge, it's been a huge challenge. Um, I really like rely heavily on that eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> I bring them all together. Um, yeah, but it's been incredible. I mean, what a rare treat to get to to do that many seasons and see a character come full circle and and to see the different facets of her, you know? I mean, when we met her in season two, it was just so hard because that's all we really saw, you know, was drummer at work. Um, so to see drummer sort of loving and being loved and having that taken away and just all of that... Um, camaraderie with Ashford as well to see all those different facets. I mean, it's a dream. It's a dream. And camaraderie with Marco. And camaraderie, yeah, with Marco, <laughs> who she's secretly in love with. Oh, we just so never, much, I know we don't really get into that in the show. So much sexual tension. There's just, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it's thick. <laughs> yeah, and Keon, season six is only your second season as part of the main cast. What have you learned from playing such a multidimensional villain such as Marco? Oh, it's... I would say it's been a really cathartic experience for me. I mean, I, I used to study um, political philosophy and, and was really interested in like big picture politics, like the direction that the world is going. And so I've always had like my frustrations and my, my, um, my sense of what's going on in the world. Like this is the direction we're taking as a whole psychologically. And it's, ah, I have all these feelings about it. So to be able to actually comment on where I think we're going as a society, but through him, who is an exaggerated, um, uh, symbol, like a, like a, like a mandala of, of a bunch of things that I think are really unhealthy about our society to sort of put that together has been really cathartic actually for me it's like Mm -hmm. it's like i've been able to um offer my own sort of like essay my exegesis on what i think is going on by portraying some of the most shadowy things about our society like like narcissism or 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 um the fact that we we are taught to value our goals and our mission higher than our own humanity or the lives of other human beings or like, or that, that there are so many people that are oppressed and forgotten by our sociopolitical systems that are not accounted for and whose, whose calls for justice are called evil or violent or whatever, you know, like it's, it's been, it's been really helpful for me to just get some of these feelings about the world off my, my chest by putting him out there. Like th- that's, I think that's the point of, that's the possibility I will say of, of film television theater is, Hey, look at this, look at this archetype. It's a part of you too. And I think that's what we lose. If we are quick to call someone evil or bad, we, we lose the ability to see that they are also a part of us. Yeah. And thank you both for all of your work on this show. It has been a joy to watch. I wish you all the best and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank Thank you you so so much. much.